How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here, and today we're going to be pitting 200 pigmen versus 200 splamonkeys. So at the very start of this, I set up a little arena here to make sure that neither group could get outside of it. And then I spawned down uh, 201 splamonkeys and 201 pigmen. And then I sat down underneath a bush hat and I waited to see what would happen when the monkeys actually turned to shadow splamonkeys. And it wasn't very long until this happened. There were a couple of interludes in between in which the pigs and then the monkeys both took turns sleeping. But by the time the nightmare cycle began, all the monkeys woke up and uh, the pig Pigmen targeted them quite excellently. So you'll notice there's a lot of text on the screen at the very beginning, at the very start, and, and then things get a little bit better. We can actually see what's going on. And as you can see, the monkeys, the slow monkeys specifically, are losing uh, quite terribly. So they're not so fearsome when you when pitted against a pig, apparently. What is really interesting about this entire thing is since I used uh, dwarf stars to light the arena up, uh, what ended up happening was there was a whole lot of uh, a lot of loot that the monkeys and the pigmen dropped that was actually quite flammable. So while the pigmen did not sustain much damage from the spill monkeys themselves, the loot drops, which started on fire shortly thereafter, um, dealt a lot of damage to our general pigmen population here and, and resulted in us having only a handful of pigmen left when all, all was said and done. So that is an interesting outcome there. Uh, I think the fire adds a nice touch of uh, theatricality to the entire production. But yeah, if you're pitting Splow Monkeys, especially Shadow Splow Monkeys versus Pigmen, it appears the Pigmen win pretty much every time. So that was a quick little don't starve together battle. I've been set, I've, I've been trying out some different numbers. 200 seems to be about right for the game. It gets pretty choppy, even at 200, so that would be a total of 400 entities, like if you have 200 pigmen versus 200 uh, shadow spell monkeys. The game starts getting a bit choppy, and you'll notice that in the actual way the pigmen moved, for example, when they were trying to get away from the fire. I don't think they could get away because the game is actually uh, skipping a lot of frames or something. I'm not exactly sure what causes it, and I'm sure there are plenty of people who would know that, who have a better understanding of the insides of the game engine and whatnot. It's not a frame rate issue necessarily it's uh it's like a pathfinding issue or something uh th when they're just too many entities on the screen so what ends up happening then is uh they don't pathfind as efficiently as they normally would and then they end up doing less than optimal things um like the pigmen for example would have a more difficult time kiting enemies because they can't run as fast due to that sort of choppy animation so 200 at the moment for each side seems to be about right but we shall see how it goes in the future i might try adding more uh, Maybe next time we'll do more Spill Monkeys. For those wondering why I did this, it's simply because I'm too tired to do anything else. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff that I can monkey around with when I'm tired. And, it, you know, it doesn't re really require much effort. Much thought or much effort to be put into it. So, thank you very much for watching, as always. And I hope to see you next time.